Yes, this is this one. Okay. How many waves do I have to break through? This is actually uh, kind of a fun one with Saren. Um, what I'll be doing here is I'll be defending this center and I'll be coming from all different directions. So if you time it right and you put the um, shots off in the good sections, you can kind of stop a lot of them before they get close. And what does get close, you've got a hand. Now obviously Torrid is fantastic for this. You can drop down a bit of defensive. They're going to run through that and take a hit. Alright, where are they all? I kind of want to use my AoE here to save the Grenier guys as well, because if I can keep them up, because I've got to do 10 waves on each one, so if I can keep them up, it helps me out. If you're running with the Torrid, don't forget that its main purpose is to cover the ground, not necessarily direct hitting. It does do good damage direct hitting, but use your um, your uh, poison on the ground there. I think this is running both like a 7k corrosive and a 7k heat, I'd want to say, build. So it's got a good bit of damage on it. With Saren too, if you pop in here and hit your AoE, you'll notice I killed a lot on the other side too. Got you on the fly. Now I don't have a huge amount of energy. Should get enough energy as we go. Where are you all? Excellent, here they come. Let's make sure we get all the little guys, because don't forget they get those leech things drop off and they're annoying, can't spot them all the time. Energy's good. And she's good. Keep laying down your torrid defense. Oops. Ah, uh, downside of torrid, six shots. Where'd he go? There's birds. They're birds and they're silly jumping. Okay, when you're doing this solo too, don't forget, keep an eye on the core, because if you see it taking damage, it could be those little in, little microbe things that you don't see, those little leeches. And you want to blow up your um, number four on that one. Because they can actually do a lot of damage, even though you can't really see them a great deal. I find this way a bit more fun than running the Vorbin. Um, Vorbin's really, really good for this one, so is Frost actually. Um, because if you get 145% Frost, you can actually cover the whole thing in a bubble. And that means that um, you can pretty much just run around and drop your turret attack on the bubble itself. But I like this one because it's a more, bit more active. Get you in there and you actually have to do something to get through the round. And you obviously at a threat of dying, obviously. But, I mean, I do have a heal. I regenerate Malt Heal, and I do have obviously my AoE to protect me. But you can't really, you can't really sit here and spam it just because of the ranged guys. Don't forget, there's a little trick too that if they're coming at you and they're hitting you hard, you can just drop down the center and you'll respawn, so they keep off you for a second. I don't intentionally fall, but you know, <laughs> being this close to it, you do fall a little bit. Oh, don't run away. Energy drainer, is it? Only wave seven. Turret's a fantastic weapon. If you if you haven't really got the true benefit of it, then play it more. Because there's 
I mean, there's nothing it can't kill, basically. You, you, you're you pumping out... Well, I'm, it's currently pumping out with five, five formers on it. It's pumping out 14k, and now that's... That damage includes, like, direct hit, direct hit damage and AoE damage. So it doesn't hit everything for 14k, but it does a nice bit of damage, as you see. I'll just form in my Orthos Prime, too, because it's a fun little weapon. Pretty much I play guns because they're fun. I mean, otherwise I just run around with a Bolter Prime or something like that, like everyone else does. <laughs> Now he's playing the game unless you're trying something new. Don't know if I like the model of the turret. I mean, it's better than the old models I've seen that look like the the um, Ogris. Oop, hello. Ouchie. Thank you, AoE, for saving me there. Yeah, the old ogress, green ogress. You. It's kind of fun. I, I like how it's got the actual uh, grenades. There's those things. Those grenades themselves actually have, um, like you can throw them on the ground, and you can see they've got a little model to them. That looks quite good. Oops. Pay attention. Running around like this too, you tend to make them a bit angry with you, and they leave the core alone just a tiny bit. And these birds, they don't really do a great deal of damage to any defense core, so you can kind of leave them alive. They're just annoying. They hurt you a lot, but they don't hurt the core as much. Yeah, so it's a lot more active as you see. Former blueprint, nice. Good thing about this many mobs coming at you is you don't run out of ammunition. Where are we? Ooh. Don't be afraid to use your weapon jumps to get out of there and shoot backwards. I do like to run um, a weapon which is fast in here, especially against Infested, just because they're, they're such a fast running type mob that you kind of need something that gets you around the place. Oh, poison guy. I'm not going to muck around with him. When you see those toxin rings on your feet, throw down the slam. <laughs> Nope, go away, you don't like your leeches. Just tap run to roll out of the leeches from so they dislodge. Ooh, energy drainer. Ah, I missed. things die in that stream of poison. It's like a high-powered can of mortine. <laughs> Go away, energy drainer. Ooh. Ooh. Those guys are just growing something. Plenty of energy, that's a good thing. Okay, four rounds left to go. Too many little leech things. Go away, go away. Come on. <laughs> Oh, 
I pretty much shot the ground then to kill the guy I was in front of, but those little things that were chasing me. Not a fan. Oh, that was a good shot. <laughs> I ran straight into it. That was a bad shot. Woohoo, they give me a hard time. Trying to give them something to run through. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, regenerate. If you run Saren, get regenerative mold. Seriously, you'll use it nearly every time. Even if you don't take damage, it's just nice to have. It's amazing how good it is, actually. It makes you very solid tank. Yeah, they're starting to come a bit thick and heavy. Okay, who have I got left? Alright, he's gone. Next. Nice little suckers, these guys. When you're actually fighting the Grenier in this one, it's kind of a different fight. There's a lot of range stuff you got to worry about. There's a lot of ones dying on the other side from my turret shots there. So you got 10 seconds. Once the turret hits the ground, the clouds are basically there for 10 seconds. And it does stack, I believe, five times? Drainers. Nope. Okay. So they're still pretty cranky with me because the core's not taking a lot of damage, which is great. So just moving around the uh, outside is actually good. Keeps them on you. If you just stand still, you probably will have a bit of a tough time doing this one. I like it actually. I don't mind soloing this one. It's a bit of a challenge. Nice, one more wave to go. Woohoo, there's a couple of buffed ones. You can tell where the flame ore is coming. Ouch. I am running a low duration Saren, just so that my, uh, huh. so my number 4 actually does a bit more damage. I'm running 145% range on this guy, and I can cover both sides of the defensive core, so that seems to work okay. And I'm running 130 uh, power, I believe. I think I think we're doing okay. I think we're gonna get this one over right. There you go, Mr. Ancient.
catch that. He's a toughie. Oh, got him. That was good. Alright, so all I need is two more waves of that. Hopefully someone else will join in.